Good morning, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on non-respiratory functions of the lung. Metabolic functions. Angiotensin converting enzyme. It is located mainly in the capillaries of the lungs. It converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin converting enzyme catalyzes bradykinin degradation. Kinins are vasodilatory peptides derived from kininogens by action of calicrines involved in inflammation, immune reactions, shock, and carcinoid syndrome. Bradykinin is the main plasma kinin. It is a short peptide with nine residues. It causes vasodilation and increased vascular permeability. Its release is inhibited by glucocorticoids. Elimination half-life is less than 15 seconds. ACE inhibitors causes persistence of bradykinin and resulting cough. Renin angiotensin system. Angiotensinogen is converted to angiotensin 1 by renin at the plasma. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme, mainly in the lungs. Angiotensin 2 is converted to angiotensin 3 by aminopeptidase in many tissues. Active angiotensin 2 is formed from angiotensin 1, an inert decapeptide, after removal of two residues. Renin is a proteolytic enzyme synthesized and secreted by the juxta capillary apparatus of the renal tubule. It is formed from pro-renin and pre-pro-renin. Half-life is 80 minutes. Secretion is stimulated by hypovolemia, cardiac failure, cirrhosis, and renal artery stenosis. Secretion is decreased by increased angiotensin 2 and increased vasopressin. Renin cleaves angiotensinogen to produce angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is a precursor of angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 has a half-life of a few minutes. It is a potent vasoconstrictor. Direct action on renal tubules results in sodium and water retention. Angiotensin 2 stimulates aldosterone release from adrenal cortex, nor adrenaline release from sympathetic nerve endings, thirst at hypothalamus, and vasopressin release from posterior pituitary. Angiotensin 3 causes aldosterone release and vasoconstriction. The lung is involved in amine metabolism. Noradrenaline is metabolized by monoamine oxidase, MAO, and catechol O-methyltransferase, CMOT. Serotonin is metabolized by MAO. Adrenaline, dopamine, and histamine are not metabolized in the lung. Prostaglandin metabolism occurs in the lung as well. PGE, PGE2, and PGE2-alpha are metabolized in the lung. PGA2 and PGI2 are not metabolized. AMP, ADP, and ATP are metabolized in the lung. The product of metabolism is adenosine. Atrial natriuretic peptide is deactivated in the lung. Neuroendocrine functions of the lung. Many neuroendocrine mediators are secreted by the lung, including serotonin, histamine, substance P, heparin, radikinins, and prostaglandins. Surfactant production. Surfactant is produced by type 2 pneumocytes and it is under the control of the HPA axis. It appears at 24 weeks gestation. Surfactant is composed of dipalmitoyl phosphatidylcholine, DPPC, proteins and carbohydrates. Mechanism of action of surfactant. There is alignment of the hydrophilic parts of the DPPC molecules on the surface of the alveolar fluid lining, resulting in repulsion between adjacent molecules. Repulsion increases as the molecules are pressed together at low volumes. Physiological effects of surfactant, there is reduction in alveolar surface tension, prevention of alveolar collapse at low lung volumes, resulting in increased lung compliance and decreased alveolar fluid. Surfactant deficiency occurs in respiratory distress syndrome, lung areas affected by pulmonary embolism, 
and bronchial obstruction, and heavy smokers. Bovine or porcine surfactant is used in prophylaxis and treatment of neonatal RDS, however has no proven benefit in adult ARDS. The lung is involved in drug metabolism. Drugs metabolized by the lung by pulmonary cytochrome P450 isoforms, pulmonary esterases, etc. includes prelocane, budesonide, cyclosonide, salmeterol, fluticasone, theophylline, propofol, baclometasone, etc. Baclometasone is converted to the 17 monopropionate active form in the lung. Drugs sequestered in the lung, local anesthetics except for prelocin. There is protection against local anesthetic toxicity. The extravascular pH of the lung is lower than the plasma pH. This results in ion trapping and sequestration of some drugs including local anesthetics. Accumulation of amiodarone in the lung can cause acute or subacute pneumonitis. There is competition for pulmonary binding sites in the event of simultaneous administration of beta blockers and some antidepressants resulting in increased plasma concentrations of both drugs. Barrier function of the lung The upper airways are the first barrier to inhale noxious substances and toxins. Mucociliary escalator is one of the self-clearing mechanism of the airways in the respiratory system, the other is the cough reflex. These self-clearing mechanisms are compromised during intubation and mechanical ventilation. The mucociliary elevator is a double-layered system. The underlying layer is a low-viscosity serous bronchial secretion. The top layer is a high-viscosity mucopolysaccharide carried proximally over the above-mentioned bottom layer. This surface layer traps particles of diameter 2 micrometer and above. It extends from the respiratory bronchioles upwards along the tracheal bronchial tree. Cilia is present at the ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium lining the internal layer of the tracheal bronchial tree from the respiratory bronchioles upwards. Beating cilia moves the viscous layer towards the pharynx at a frequency of 10 to 15 beats per second at a rate of up to 20 mm per minute in the trachea. Factors affecting the mucociliary escalator Increased mucus production occurs during inhalation of irritant gases, inflammatory mediators, and vagal stimulation. Decreased mucus production occurs in decreased vagal stimulation and opioid administration. Decreased ciliary motility occurs during dehydration, smoking, anesthesia, inspiration of dry inspired gases, extremes of temperature, ciliary dysmotility syndromes, drugs such as inhaled anesthetic agents, local anesthetics, opioids, atropine, and alcohol. There is increased ciliary motility when high doses of ketamine or fentanyl are administered. Effects of impaired mucociliary function Chronic sinusitis, recurrent chest infections, bronchiectasis, atelectasis, and hypoxia. Filtration function of the lung Embolic matter, such as thrombus, fat, and air, are effectively filtered by the lung. Situations where the capacity of the lung for filtration is exceeded. Massive pulmonary embolism results in shunting and shock. Microemboli stimulates the release of local inflammatory mediators and can result in ARDS. The lung is involved in regulation of hemostasis. Pulmonary endothelium produces both anticoagulant substances such as heparin and fibrinolysin and procoagulant substances such as thromboplastin. This has a role in regulation of the balance between hemostasis and fibrinolysis in the body. Immune functions The fate of inhaled particles according to its diameter, for particles more than 5 micrometer, these are deposited by impaction on the mucus covering the nose and the larger airways. For particles 2 to 5 micrometer, these are deposited on the walls of smaller airways, 
Deposited particles are trapped in mucus, mobilized by the mucociliary escalator from the peripheral to the central airways. The mucus is then expectorated or swallowed. Particles less than 2 micrometer reach the alveoli as aerosols. 80% is exhaled, 20% reaches and stay within the alveoli. For particles less than 0.3 micrometer, these remains as aerosols and are exhaled. Pulmonary macrophages, phagocytos, bacteria, and other particles. Pulmonary epithelial cells secrete substances such as lysozyme and nitric oxide, which are active against pathogens. They can secrete inflammatory mediators such as interleukins, cytokines, TNF, and oxygen radicals. IgA is the most abundant immunoglobulin and are found mainly in bronchial secretions. Vascular Reservoir The pulmonary vascular tree is a low-pressure and elastic circulation and accommodates the cardiac output. It is not fully perfused at rest, distends as increased cardiac output occurs, and potential increase in blood volume of up to 1 litre can occur. It is not an effective reserve for blood volume that can be useful during hypovolemia, as cardiac output will increase to maximize oxygen delivery to tissues during hypovolemic shock. There is optimization of cardiac output and fine-tuning of preload to the left heart. These are my references. Thank you.